I did a, a video a while back on hamsticks and he mentioned he used a spring between his roof mag mount, one quarter wave base loaded CB antenna between the roof racks to prevent damage. And that spring noticeably lowered the resonant frequency of the antenna. Did not know at the time about inductors and electrically lengthened antennas. When you added that spring between the mag mount and the ham stick, the frequency dropped one megahertz. Yes, it did. Could that spring be acting as an inductor and electrically lengthening the antenna? Now, here's, I think that's a really good question, but I want to tell you, one time when I felt like I had some extra energy, I took one of those springs. It was not easy to do, but I bent it so that you could actually see in between the coils and there is braided wire mm -hmm. that goes from the bottom right on up to the top. So it's right. almost like the coil is Shorted. a physical attribute only. It's just, Correct. it's, it's just, it's acting as a spring where the actual conductor is going up the center. That's so correct. I'm suspecting there would be very minimal interaction between the coil itself. Uh, and the antenna. Thoughts, guys? No, the, the, listen, CB operators have used that spring for years. So, um, and, and um, yeah, I, I can see how you, you're, st you're putting something in line with the vertical, right? So you're making the antenna longer either way. You're right. Mm -hmm. Three or four inches. I don't know. Tim, you'd probably Any know better. If you put in there, there is going to interact with the field. If you've got some kind of metal object, you, you know, you're going to see some kind of interference with it. Yeah. I suspect it lowered the resonant frequency like you said it yeah. probably introduced some losses in there too right mm -hmm. yeah he, he said that i went down yeah. yeah now he goes he goes on to say he recalls reading an article where a canadian ham made a coil from solid copper wire with a t connector installed at base of ham sticks with great results creating very wide bandwidth uh hang on hang on with a coil Yes, I did the same thing on my 40 meter um, ham stick that I have in my truck. It's called a, uh, oh, come on, Tim, you know, shunt, is it a shunt coil? And it goes, it's, uh, yeah, I put a T connector to the base and I put this coil. And I learned that from VA6AB, I think is the guy. It's all about mobile HF. This guy's got an incredible channel with unbelievable information on it. And he has one of those on there. And it's like, I think 11 or 12 turns, like, like the width of a broom handle. And just put it right across. And I'll tell you what it, what it did was it uh, certainly made the antenna a little more resonant and opened up its bandwidth a little bit. You know, 40 meter hamstick is like really narrow, but it opened it up just a little bit more, made a world of difference. So, but it's yeah. not free. Hmm? It's not free. <laughs> it has to be paid for, and you pay for it with loss. Uh, yeah. Perhaps I haven't noticed a problem when yeah, I. You probably, you probably wouldn't. You just have to know that it's there. Yeah, you're not yeah. going to be as efficient as you would normally. Could be, it could be, but but I, I I put it on there, and it also made a difference with the uh, yeah with with the uh, the the resonance with the radio.